guys, Jeff here from Pat Pro Movies, and welcome to Actionica, part number two of the eight-part series. Today we're going to be talking about sound design, but more importantly, Foley. And if you're not familiar, Foley is sounds that an actor would make on camera. Um, basically, footsteps or clothing rustles or body falls or bullet hits or maybe touches or, you know, th any sound that a human would actually physically make. So, um... A lot of people don't realize this, but uh, most sounds that you hear in the final piece actually aren't recorded on set. They're designed in post-production and uh, added to the feature. But um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today how to maybe record some of those Foley sounds in the studio and match them up on camera and make them sit real good. Because it's, Foley is very important to get right, and a piece without proper Foley just just doesn't feel right and may not sound natural. So let me take you to my computer and we'll get started. So here we are back in the Pro Tools session for Drunk Gamer. Um, I'll take you down to my Foley tracks. Basically anything you see here in purple is Foley. So pretty extensive Foley work on this one. I spent a couple days doing it. Um, it's worth spending the extra time on Foley to get that soundscape just exactly where you want it to be. And uh, I'm gonna start you off here with the footsteps. Uh, as you'll see, a lot of footsteps here. Uh, we've got gravel, we've got some gritty concrete, we've got grass, we've got metal. Make sure you've got the footsteps you need for the type of ground that they're walking on. So right here we've got Rob running on some gravel. And then Philip busts through on the concrete to kill him. So pretty cool there, pretty self-explanatory. Just make your, make your splices and time those footsteps right up to their feet, and you shouldn't have any problems with that. Next up in the Foley realm, um, something that's also very important is the clothing rustle, and that can be overlooked a lot of times. Um, it just sells the movement of the actor. So basically, I will just put on whatever the actor wore in the studio and um, reenact their movements in front of a microphone. So I'll just, I may just watch this whole video and reenact whatever Philip does on camera into a microphone. So I'll let you hear just some of the clothing wrestle for um, this, uh, this opener here. So there you go. It's subtle, but um, very important. Also in this piece, we've got Diamond, who played the drunk gamer, running with a bottle attached to his hip. And uh, basically, I just filled up a bottle and uh, slapped it against my chest as he ran. And got something like this. Pretty easy. Um, got some body falls here. Pretty easy. Um, I think you can grab a phone book and maybe slap a pillow or something and get sounds like that or slap the floor. Gun foley, also extremely important. Um, you can either get one of your guns or something and um, uh, just move it around as, as the actors move it around on camera. Or um, some of these may be pulled from a library. Just the subtle inner workings of a gun as it would be jostled around like that. So um, pretty cool there. Uh, and, you know, I've got some other things like the burps and the cans and the, and the, the can spew and all that. I've, I'll show you one here, the can being thrown down. And that's just me with a microphone throwing a can against concrete. So Another element I added to this that uh, kind of helped sell the comedy of this was the uh, sound effect of Diamond Ping. And um, that was just me pouring some water out of a jug onto concrete. But um, really, uh, you can do that with a lot of things to help sell the comedy is uh, to add some great sound effects. So that concludes the Foley portion of Akshanika. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit us up below if you have any comments or questions. 
we'll see you again next time.